Welcome to the first video of our Streamlit SQLite playlist. In this series, we'll build real apps using Python's Streamlit library and SQLite to store data. We'll keep things simple and fun. First things first, we need to install the Streamlit library. You can do it by running this command in your terminal. Uh, pip install Streamlit. It only takes a few seconds. Once that's done, we're ready to use Streamlit. Let's start by giving our app a title using this line, st.title, add name to database. This simply shows a big title at the top of your web app. Let's add a text input field next, where we'll enter a name. When we click the button, it will save the name to the table we're about to create in the database. All right, let's run this file and see what happens. To launch the app, use this command in your terminal. You can visit this address using any browser. Now that we have our interface running, let's set up the database. initdb, a function, creates a database file called names.db, and inside it, a table called people. If the table already exists, it won't recreate it, so this is safe to run every time the app starts. Then we call initdb to actually run that function. Let's restart the Streamlit app to make sure the database is created properly. You can stop the server by pressing Control c Now I'll start it again. And there it is. We now have a database called names.db and a table named people ready to store names. Now let's add some names to that table. The insert name function does exactly that. It opens the database connection, inserts the name into the people table, and then closes the connection. We also added a save button. When the button is clicked and the input isn't empty, we insert the name into the database and show a success message. Let's test it out. I'm restarting the app now, and I'll try entering a few different names and hit the Save button. Every time we click Save, that name is stored in the database. I'll add a few different names. You can add as many as you want. In the next video, we'll learn how to retrieve and display the saved names right inside the app. See you in the next one.